Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to turn your laptop screen into a green screen. This would be for uses such as if you're making a film and someone's watching and you're sitting on the on um, a screen. This could be done on a computer, I'm just saying laptop because I'm using a laptop right now. But um, it's like if you're watching that you could green screen it to make it better quality so you won't have a, like the, the glow around it when you're watching it. So you want to open up Photoshop. Now you don't have to have Photoshop. I'll put a link into the video below of um, what, I'm, what I've made, and then you can put just a screen saver. I'll explain it later. That always happens every single time the slow performance because it's hot. The laptop. So you want to no right. So you can open the snipping tool or any kind of um thing you can use to capture the full screen of um, your um, laptop or computer screen so you just want to go through the whole bit and then I'm just going to save that um, just do capture ok so now just my capture I'm going to put that in there. So now this is about exactly the same size as um, my laptop screen. So I'm just going to create a new layer. And then I'll go to my paint bucket tool. I need to change my foot colour to green. You can do it to like blue depending on what you need to use. Yeah, black and green. That, uh, but obviously, I don't need this layer anymore. So now I've got a basic green um, solid. And if you're like going to be using this for tracking, then um, you're going to want to add track marks. So um, to add track marks, I am going to go to my shape tool, well, line tool, and then I'm just going to. Basically, oops. By the way, make sure your fill is black for this. So, wait, right. So I'm gonna make a nice cross, just a long line like that. Control J to duplicate that, and then I'll rotate it exactly 90 degrees. Mm, yeah. I'm just trying roughly. Okay, just about that. Oh, yeah, apply. You need to apply that. And then I'm going to select both of these. Um, do hold down control and then click on both of them on the names to select both of them. And then you want to go to merge shapes. And you, I'm not like trying to be exact here, but roughly put it in just put a corner of um your um, solid and then just duplicate that another three times actually five I meant as you can see photoshop is oops automatically don't know what happened there <laughs> yeah I accidentally undone that so photoshop is automatically making these shapes in line with each other which is quite a handy feature of Photoshop. We go try and get an exact line there and then I meant to duplicate that another time and try and roughly get it in the middle. And it's sort of there as you can see here on the screen next to it. You can this kind of a rough coordinates where it is. Yeah so you wanna get it roughly near the middle you can add like grid lines and stuff to get it exact if you really want i'm just doing this for the sake of a tutorial um i'm not only gonna save this but um once you have um like done it save it and then put it in a folder that um has no other folder now i've got one that's called green and i've got 3d track in it I'm just going to open it. Now, the reason why it's in a folder by itself because I'm going to put it on the slideshow which is going to go in full screen 
and um, what that basically does is um, it's not going to move on to any other picture, it's just going to stay like I'm going to move the mouse out the way and then you just keep it like that and um, you can also this is just an option because I said you might get the flare off of um, the screen like um, sometimes when someone's watching it but you might get a flare from the screen screen so you can also if you can get um, the rough um, exact size of it you can um, print it and then just fit it onto your screen but um, I don't really know um, I've never really tried this but um, I know this is a, another option people do um, yeah that was like that because I just left my laptop there because I had to put the charger in and yeah I couldn't find it so that, it always says performance though I've no idea why it hardly ever says that well used when I'm doing tutorial anyway so um, um, that's basically how you do it and then you can also do the same with your TV and you can burn the photo onto a disc or you can easily if you've got um, an HDMI cable or something like that you can connect your laptop slash computer to um, your TV and then yeah it'll come up on there as well so I hope you found this tutorial helpful um, if you've got any questions leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and um, you can check out my other channel um, no I don't want to do that I'm not joking this only happens when I'm doing tutorials seriously I think it's actually Camtasia that does it Apparently it's got a lot of bugs on it. But um so um I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible and um so my other channel is Random Planet Earth where we do entertainment, comedy, sketches and things like that. Just entertainment really. So if you if that sounds appealing, go and check that out and um thanks for watching and I'll see you later.